The concept of everyday design is that, uh, in essence, uh, everyone is a designer. Almost uh, eight or ten years ago, we did a series of ethnographic studies of people in their homes, looking at how they uh, use technology and found that what was much more interesting was how they use everything but technology. And what was most interesting about that was how creative and resourceful they were about using things in ways they were not necessarily intended to be used for. And they were creating and constructing systems uh, on their own, in many cases even unknowingly, uh, in that sense really designing and creating their everyday environments. So we designed the, the bowl to really take on this idea of what might be a, an interaction design artifact in relation to everyday design. So the bowl is actually quite simple. Um, it's a por porcelain bowl that's glazed, so much like any other ceramic bowl. Uh, however, it periodically tilts. Um, and it tilts in, multi in different directions. And this may only happen three or four times a day. Um, and you may not even notice it. Um, uh, or you may notice it sometime after it's moved. Why a bowl? A bowl because it's the, one of the most common things you probably have in your house. Um, it's something that's so simple that everyone can really understand how it works. We put things in it. <laughs> um, and it's also, you know, it's pretty simple, but still in every house we have many different bowls, many different bowls for different purposes. We still make so many more bowls. Why are we still making bowls? <laughs> um, and I think that there is, in this simple form, still some a lot of more explorations we can do. Um, while still, so the idea also was to make a bowl that's, um, we picked a bowl because it's a simple and common object so that we could start from there, people would recognize what it is, but then also we could bring it, uh, bring a, a, a new aspect to it, which was to bring technology in it and then kind of shake the expectations that they have or kind of challenge that a little bit. Thinking about the shape, um, thinking about the movement and then kind of going, starting to model the actual shape, collaborating with the people at Emily Card to make this happen in, in a ceramic. In terms of materiality, um, there's a lot of small decision that goes behind why we choose um, the material. Say for instance, um, porcelain, we want to choose material that be able to fit within the everyday home, such as porcelain, copper, and aluminum. And I believe that how the hardware should be designed is in such a way that the user not need to be constantly be reminded um, there is technology there. When we deploy the bowls, they're going to be in people's households or people's homes for probably up to six months. And I think that the, we're not looking for the kind of oh wow reaction or the, how I interacted with the bowl, but really what it's like to live with the bowl over, over time. What is that live with experience? What are the kinds of things that emerge? How does it situate and fit itself within the home? Um, even if somebody perhaps maybe thinks about it, once a week, once a month, that's fine for us. Uh, we don't necessarily need that kind of active engagement, that interaction that people tend to look for with interaction design research or interaction design artifacts. We are much more concerned with how people coexist, live with, and how are the things that we make fit with their everyday lives.